Hello to everyone this evening. This is Joanna and today I'd like to share with you some purchases that I've made. Mainly one in particular um, is something that I got from the Sephora VIB sale, the 20% off one. I did show a haul where I was in the store and then I got something that I had to order online. So I will show you that. Um, the free item that I got, I don't know if this is Bosca or Boschka or whatever, but I do like their black soap and this one is their purifying cleansing gel. I got the sample of this because I do want to try the bigger one. I like the Glam Glow um, mud in the white bottle, that Boschka black wash, and then I wanted to try this. So we'll see how this is because I think this might be the one that they said was good for makeup. And then I saw online where like there are sets of some of these. There's those little like konjac type sponges. And then what they sent me, this right here, they sent me another one of these. I had gotten this one um, in the book, the VIB book that they send out. And I think I might have showed this on here. But I did want to say I thought they sent me the same thing. And it turns out that what they sent me in this one is different. So in this one, I believe I got the Versace. Um, it just says perfume. So that's not what's on there, but this is what's on the back. And then this one was a Dior Jador, which is on here, which is odd because that one, there's no Versace on there. And then this one was the Tom Ford nor extreme i don't think i'm too crazy about these but these are nice for if you just want something to put on this one was victor roth now what i did like about this one was it was actual perfumes that i wanted to try to get samples of one of them was that decadence and it was kind of strong so i don't think that's one for me but if you like the strong perfumes you might like that one and I can't even pronounce this stuff. Narcisco Rodriguez. I'm not even sure that's right. This one's Burberry. I do have Burberry Touch. I don't have any other Burberry at all. But I do like that one. Um, they don't make it anymore. And I haven't seen it in any of the perfume shops. This one is the Black Opium. We have the Marc Jacobs Decadence. And the Gucci Bamboo. These are the two that I wanted to try. And this one I think I'm going to buy the small um, little tube of. And then Stella McCartney. So that was that. But what I got was this. And because of the 20% sale, I think these were 38 I ended up getting mine for like 31 and some change, 32 Here we have the regular one. We have the tea tree, the fig, the aloe and cucumber, and I believe lavender. So I don't remember what the properties for these were, but I know that the tea tree was like for the scalp cleansing and probably for the calming properties of it. And the lavender was supposed to be soothing. This one is their all around one. Now the one that's missing, I tried this morning. The day that I was going to, well, let me say that the other way. When this came, I had washed my hair the day before, which is how that goes, or I would have tried one of these right then and there but I did try this one this morning and my hair wasn't dried out um, and I didn't use anything with it because I wanted to know how this was now these say that you can use one whole tube I don't have long hair my hair is also not in its natural state so I only sorry about that okay now what I was saying was I only needed um, just a little bit of this I did not need a whole lot of this no wonder I've got the weight of my phone with the folded part there. But I did not need to use the whole tube. I didn't even need to use half a tube. So I'm going to assume I can get about three uses of this out of here. But I did like it. I didn't use my hot oil or anything like that with it to see how it would do. And I like that you got six of these in there. And it was like 31 something. Regularly it's 38. I do think that these are comparable to these two things. Each one of these I've only used once. I did like them. They didn't dry my hair out, but I started using a herbal essence shampoo 
I don't know what the name of it was, but it's in um, burgundy. I'll have to see what that is. It made my hair really, really soft in its natural state, and I was using that a whole lot, even while it was relaxed. So I'm going to go back to trying to use these, but these are nice for one-step cleansing or in an emergency. I generally do like shampoo, but for those of you that like the cleansing conditioners, both of these are okay too. These are not new. I had these from before, and I just thought that I would share those because I find this comparable. Let's see, I got a few new things, nothing major. I just picked up another Ace Tongue from Blondie's before she gets rid of this. I did get a hairspray um, from Blondie's. I went in there looking for this, and this still says, says Silk and Mist. So I'm not sure if this is like a um, oil sheen spray or not. I do want an actual hairspray. As I said before, the hairsprays that I like, they're all gone. Like, I used to love the Maximum by Nexium, And that's no longer because it's been that long since I bought hairsprays. And I'm not really interested in the ones that make the hair full or stiff or anything like that. And then I got two nail polishes. I ordered these from Julep. I was about to say Zoya. I've been out and my brain is kind of scattered because <laughs> I've just been out and I've just come home and one of the kids in the hall nearly rammed me good by running in the hall and I could have been hurt but I'm glad that I wasn't. This shade that I have here is the Emerald from May. Now I do have all 12 of the other Julep colors and I didn't know they were going to continue the series for 2015. I have all of the 2014 shades and this one completed my 2014. I did not have the Joni Citrine for November for 2014, and now I do. So I can put this one on my dresser in that spot, and I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not because my phone doesn't do anything I want it to do, but it says 2014 up there because next thing I know when I went looking for that one at that time, they had January, February, and March out. And I thought they were going to get rid of them. So this one is different from the other green one that I got. This one is Cher. And I got this one because it's my birthstone. But since I got this one for 2015, I'm going to go ahead and start buying the rest of the 2015 collection. And if they come out with a third one for 2016, I'm just going to have to say forget it. Because I've said I'm not going to buy any more of certain things. And that turns out to be a bald face lie because I do. Like I said, I didn't want any more eyeshadow palettes. I had enough, and now they're coming out with the Too Faced Bonbons. And not only that, they're coming out with brown and bronze um, melted lipsticks, so I definitely want some of those. And the Ulta has the bronze eyeliners. I definitely want some of those. But these were the two things that I got, and I believe this is all I got. And I just wanted to share that with you if you've got any information on anything or want to tell me about any of this or... If you tried the win or you tried the big bottles, let me know. I don't know if I will buy any of these in the full size or not because the two that I do have, I hardly use them. I'm trying to make a really huge effort to start using a lot of the stuff that I have not been using. I had a Pearberry body cream from Bath & Body Works that was nearly liquid. I put it in the freezer. It thickens it back up. The thing of it is, though, I leave it in there overnight, and I don't do it on purpose. I actually forget about it, and then maybe a day or two later, I remember, and I sit it out, and then I let it just thaw it on its own. I don't manipulate it. I don't put it in hot water. I just let it sit out for a day or so, and it usually goes back, and you've heard me say before on here, if it doesn't, then I put it in my bath water because it can't be fixed, but I don't know what it is about the freezer that puts it back together. And I have a lot of creams that are getting like that because I've had them sitting for like maybe three, maybe, no, I'd say four or five years. Because their shelf life is five years and the lotions last longer. But that was it because I'm getting off topic. I just wanted to share this with everybody. And again, if you've got any information on anything, I welcome it. Until the next time, everyone have a great evening.